ABNC, America's Black News Channel. Watch 15 minutes. Share with everyone. Finally, news that speaks to us. As the world continues to celebrate Women's History Month, we want to recognize the contributions of a high-achieving woman in the military. Over 20 years ago, Lieutenant Colonel Shauna Rochelle Kimball became the first black female fighter pilot in the United States Air Force, born to Guyanese parents. She flew the F-16 Fighting Falcon during combat missions, paving the way for future women in the Air Force. I'm pleased to welcome Lieutenant Colonel Shauna Rochelle Kimbrell. Thank you so much for being with us, Shauna. Thank you for having me. First off, tell us about that first mission. <laughs> uh, so it was a long road to the first mission, um, going through the Air Force Academy and then the pilot training, um, and then into your first assignment, followed by your training to prepare for that first mission. Uh, and the first mission kind of goes um, as you train. So we have really good training and, you know, you take off and you go and do exactly what you were trained to do and you come back to base. So it was almost anticlimactic because um, it went so smoothly. Well, I'm so excited to hear you say that because that just gives everybody confidence to know that even though something seems like it could be nerve wracking, it can go really well. As you've just said, that's awesome. So how does it feel knowing that your name will live on and be mentioned for generations to come? This is such an accomplishment. Well, it's pretty phenomenal um, to know that you made a piece of history. Uh, it was not what I absolutely set out to do. I was just following my dream and my vision to go fly fighters. And it just so happened along the timeline that I landed at a first. Um, so it's, it's pretty humbling to know that it will always be there um, in, in the history books. And your family must be so proud of you. I understand your parents are originally from Guyana. That's very exciting. Uh, certainly, they must have wondered uh, what you would become when you grew up, and they're certainly um, overwhelmed by your accomplishments. Tell us about them. So they've always supported me. I wanted to be a fighter pilot since the time I was in fourth grade. So they cultivated that for me and just kind of gave me opportunities and opened every door that they possibly could. Since they do not have a military background, um, a lot of it was me going out and, you know, and trying to figure that out and figure out how to get in into the military, into the ranks, what it would take to be a fighter pilot. And they really just supported me and said, you just go and do your dream and uh, make your vision happen. And because I didn't have the expertise to necessarily show me, but they allowed me to go and grow my own wings. Absolutely so exciting. What advice do you have for people who are still trying to knock down barriers? So I think it's really a vision. You know, for me, what, what worked and what led to success was reverse engineering that, that vision that I had and figuring out exactly what it takes and, and who you need to surround yourself with and where you need to go. And so I think spending the time to know what it is that you're trying to achieve and then to figure out what it's going to take to get there is so critical um, to people's success. And then absolutely surrounding yourself with the people who have success in that area and who will mentor you and move you forward um, and help to challenge you to become the best person that you, that you can be and value you for your contributions that you have to the mission. So I say go out there and trailblaze and trailblaze all the trails that are left to, uh, to trailblaze and dare to dream absolutely and follow those dreams. Well, you have certainly inspired us. We salute you. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Colonel Shauna Rochelle Kimbrell. Thank you for your time, and more importantly, thank you for your service to this country.